So uh, AMC uh, fighting, fighting to stay in business, AMC theaters. Uh, some other things <laughs> happening now, affecting in big ways or small ways the future of movies. Um, computer graphics are amazing. Um, we've seen actors uh, brought back to life, in a sense, in films and reimagined and basically uh, because of their images being captured, um, computers can manipulate the images and bring them back um, to be in new movies. It's an example of, uh, of um, from Star Wars. Um, China, an important part of films. It's a huge box office market now. It's the second size uh, in terms of dollars, theater dollars, second only to the U.S. And they are starting to co-produce some movies, which are international movies. You'll see Matt Damon, for instance, starring in an action film with a Chinese star. And the movie's released in both markets. It does mean that there is some censorship. Uh, there's certain things you can say and there are certain things you can't say on anything broadcast in China. Here's an example of Ennis Cantor speaking out. He plays for the Boston Celtics. He's from Turkey uh, originally. He speaks out here on Tibet and other issues and this bothers, bothers the Chinese government and so um, the Chinese government has censored his team and um, Boston Celtics don't exist on any websites or anything in China now. China was becoming enamored of basketball and the NBA uh, for many reasons including having birthed a star NBA player who's about over seven feet tall. Um, so China, huge market, China wanting to get more involved in films, but censorship issues. Um, so we mentioned digital cameras and digital uh, projectors and films. How entire films have been shot with, with, with Apple phones, by the way. And there will be, I think, more and more of that. The new Apple Pro phone, I think it's the 13, uh, boasts a uh, new camera with movie quality um, video. And what will people, what people do with that? They'll maybe make some movies. Um, along the lines of the CGI actors, here's Michael Jackson being brought back to life via a hologram. This is more of a theatrical performance than a movie, but I think ABBA uh, is about to do the same thing. The rock group, they've made a new album. They're going to do holograms of themselves as younger people coming back to perform the album. <laughs> they haven't done anything, released anything in about 40 years. So will will more films, will films use holograms at some point and be more three-dimensional? Or will we, in a sense, go back to just the way the first movies with Edison, you stuck your head in a box and watched little snippets of film by yourself essentially will uh, will we'll, we watch movies and have them appear as if we're involved in the action ourselves is that a game is that a film um, you know what are the implications of that the future okay so we've covered this whole range of topics very long uh, discussion because it's a huge, huge, huge topic. Uh, two lectures. Here's everything we covered. I'm not going to list them out again, but uh, that's where we are. Movies move us. <laughs> they do have a big influence on our culture. What's due for the next class? Do your three things. Um, there's a
Padlet discussion, there's there are two of them. There's one in week eight, and there's another one in week nine. Please do each and comment on multiple classmates' posts. And you're going to read chapter seven. You're going to focus on radio, because our next class will be about radio. Our agenda for the whole class was... We reviewed the midterm, at least in terms of where everybody's, what the grade spread was. We did our lecture in the last two classes on movies and uh, talked about what to do for next week. So, thanks.